let's take a look at this Yahweh guy. It's Jehovah. <laughs> so they pray to Jehovah. This is their main God. Jehovah. That's the name of their religion. Jehovah Witness, right? Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's apostrophe S. Yes, Jehovah's Witness is the name of their religion. Let's take a look at who this guy really, really is. And I do mean guy. I mean man. Jehovah is not a God that created universes and planets and, and all this kind of stuff. So if you look at the word Yahweh, which as we know is Enlil in the modern day Bible, according to the Sumerian tablets, which predates the Bible by thousands of years, it comes from the word Yahoo, which is Assyrian, and Yahweh in German is Jehovah. And so they took the German version of Yahweh, and how do I know this? Because in, during the World War, the Jehovah Witnesses were in full support of Nazi Germany. They even wrote in their personal, uh, in, in their, um, they have a book that the elders, the elders books, the, they have a book that they read that they go by. It's like the elders Bible. And in there, they were making appeasements for Germany and saying and hoping that their mission goes right. And the, they, they blessed them with the love of God and everything else on, on what, what they were doing over there in Nazi Germany. And so they took the German uh, version of Yahweh, which is Jehovah. So Jehovah, which or actually really is uh, Jehovah, is really what it is, Jehovah, because the J really is a, it sounds a Y sound. But regardless, it became Jehovah in America. Um, and so Jehovah is actually Enlil. So the power of Yahoo in Akkadian, by the time of the return of the Babylonian exiles in the 530s BC, Yahweh was treated as a DT name in its own right. Akkadian grammar was apparently forgotten by those in Israel, and Yahweh's actually mistranslated in the English Hebrew scriptures as Lord. <clears throat> the word Lord is a, coming from a mistranslated word of Yahweh, which is actually a person, not a God. You see how this whole thing is screwed up for the Christians and the Jehovah Witnesses? The whole thing is convoluted garbage. <clears throat> so you see here, uh, you know, to write this image, Hebrew reads from right to left. And transliterated into English, it's Yahweh or Yahweh, Yehovah. But you see, the J is actually supposed to be silent. Um, in America, we've already incorporated the sound of the J, so we call it Jehovah. But it's really Yehovah. So now, according to the Sumerian text, Enki, also known as Satan, so his brother, he's not really Satan, but his brother is really Satan. And Lil is really Satan, but and Lil didn't want to. <clears throat> He didn't want to scare the people and make them think he was the evil one. So what he started doing was blame everything on his brother, Enki. And he, he, even though Enlil was Satan, the Lord of Eden, he started saying, no, no, he's my brother. He's the one that's actually the evil one. He's Satan, not me. <clears throat> so he can keep the people worshiping him. But according to Sumerian text, Enki, a.k.a. Satan, created man and animals. Uh, he didn't create man and animals in the Sumerian tablets. That's a little bit of a, um, uh, I should have said something like he actually, he, he used genetic techniques uh, to modify existing animals and hominids on this planet. Okay. He didn't make anything from scratch. Nothing was made from scratch here. <clears throat> His brother Enlil created the earth and sky. Now he didn't create the earth and sky. And this is the part of the mythological version. But what he did was he utilized his understanding of seed planting. And he understood, he utilized his understanding of weather patterns and weather control. It's talked about in Sumerian tablets. He would control the weather and dry crops out amongst high multitudes of humans to make them starve to death. So this guy had the power over weather and everything. Okay. Pretty interesting stuff. <clears throat> a rift came between them. So him and his brother started having a lot of arguments, uh, kind of like Cain and Abel from the Bible, Esau and Jacob. And although uh, Satan, a.k.a. Enki, um, was the eldest of the brothers, uh, their father was a chief sumer god. Their father was Anu. That's where you get the term Anunnaki. His, their father's name was Anu. But eventually Yahweh would rule over both earth and his creation. And what happened there, if you look in the Sumerian pantheon, they ruled by a number system. Okay, they had a number system. And even though Enki's number was higher than his brother Enlil, for whatever reason, which is not clear, it never is really said why or how this happened. Uh, maybe Enki relinquished the right to be the king of earth, but Enlil superseded him and became the king of the earth. 
and ran the show here for quite some time. Each brother was considered an immortal, and therefore, if you wanted to hurt to hurt the other, you would not fight each other, as it would be it would make no sense. So they wouldn't fight because fighting each other would make no sense because they had the technology to 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 cure and heal each other. So what they would do is they would attack each other's things, like their land, the people that they ruled over, the structures that they built, and so forth and so on. That's how they hurt each other. And and and, and their father got pissed off and said, "Look." Uh, you go to this side, you go over here. You guys stay away from each other and just do your own separate thing. But um, this is where Jehovah comes from. Jehovah is actually coming from the ancient Akkadian and Babylonian cuneiform tablets thousands of years prior to the existence of Jehovah Witnesses. And the person that they're praying to, and I do mean person that they're praying to, is one of the most evil killing rulers of all time. He would kill humans for just for fun, Okay. Later in the Akkadian version of the flood story, recorded in the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is a famous read, uh, it's the true full story of Noah's Ark. Enlil, who's actually, like I said, Jehovah, actually causes the flood. He actually causes the flood in the cuneiform tablets, seeking to annihilate every living thing on earth because he got tired of the humans who were so overpopulated, they were making too much noise. He actually says this in the tablets. The humans are making too much noise. I just want to kill them. They're disturbing my sleep. He would kill thousands of humans at a time just because they were too loud for him. This is who Jehovah Witnesses are praying to. Where can you find out more about this guy? The Atrahasis. Okay, let's look at some of the things that, that Jehovah was doing on earth back in the day. Let's see what the, let's see what the Jehovah was doing. 